2021 Hyundai Santa Fe review. The Hyundai Santa Fe occupies an odd space between the compact and mid-size SUV classes. It lands squarely between both segments in terms of price, size and feature availability. Essentially, it offers a bit more room than most compact crossovers, but it sits at a price point that makes it a little more palatable than buying a larger SUV. This gives the Santa Fe a strong value proposition. And the significantly updated 2021 mode L is even more enticing than its predecessor. The 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe is heavily refreshed, starting with a new rectangular grille that's pinched on the outside and accented with vertically oriented lights. There's also a new T-shaped taillight design with a horizontal light bar that connects the two taillights. Rounding out the list of interior improvements are a larger touchscreen and the move to transmission selector buttons rather than a shifter. The Santa Fe is all new under the hood. The slightly larger 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine produces 191 horsepower and 182 pounds FT of torque. A mild increase of 6 HP and 4 pounds FT compared to last year's 2.4-liter mill. Fuel economy is up slightly as well. The EPA estimates a front-wheel drive 2021 Santa Fe with this engine will get 26 miles per gallon in combined driving, compared to 25 miles per gallon last year. The upgraded Santa Fe engine is now a turbocharged 2.5-liter four-cylinder with 277 HP and 311 pounds FT. A significant bump from the previous Turbo 4 and its 235 HP and 260 pounds FT. Hyundai says it's also more efficient. Indeed, the EPA says to expect 25 miles per gallon combined with FWD. Just one mile per gallon less than the base engine with forward. This engine comes standard on the new range topping calligraphy trim, which counts quilted leather upholstery and a head-up display among its many additions. Also new for 2021 is a hybrid model. It has a turbocharged 1.6-liter engine and a hybrid system to produce 225 combined horsepower. Power is routed to all four wheels via a six-speed automatic transmission. Unfortunately, there are no official fuel economy estimates as of our review's publication time. Our hope is that it will get around 35-40 mpg combined. Ickers says, These are very significant changes but this is a competitive class. And the Santa Fe has a wealth of established competition on its hands. The Honda CR-V, long a perennial favorite, has been upgraded with a hybrid version and the Mazda CX-5 continues to offer a stylish and well-built alternative. The new Santa Fe will have to impress on a number of levels to make a strong showing. Which Santa Fe does Itkers recommend? We think this cell is a good place to start. For not much money over the base SE, you get heated seats, an 8-way power adjustable driver's seat, wireless charging, and keyless entry with push-button start. It also includes blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. The cell can also be bolstered by some fairly comprehensive option packages not available on the SC Hyundai Santa Fe models. The Hyundai Santa Fe is a five-passenger SUV available in four trim levels, SE, Cell, Limited and Calligraphy. On the SE, Cell and Limited trim, front-wheel drive is standard and all-wheel drive is optional. The calligraphy comes standard with all-wheel drive.